Oh man, when I hit that control tab and the next tab is Rakeda. She. Alright, so here's what my boy Rackets has been up to. Now that the gray matter is properly dissolving inside his head. Um, so someone asked him, rhetorically speaking, how do you explain to your kids that you're a cam whore? And I think that this was like a, a joke at his expense. Like you're, a, you're like a whore on the internet and you use a webcam. So like in a kind of sense, like he's, it's like a derisive comment. But Rakeda, for whatever reason, decides to answer this with a 10 minute, 10 minute long explanation about how, like in general, the times are different, so it's not as big a deal anymore. Um, children don't care about uh, their their parents being whores. Um, as long as it puts money in the bank, that's all that matters. It's an accepted profession now. Like he just goes on and on. And then at the very end, I guess he kind of realizes how that sounds. So he just says, like, I've never done that. And I, my, my wife has never done that. Um, but yeah, it was like a really, really, really long soliloquy about how OnlyFans is normal now. And so how do you explain that to your kids that you're a cam whore? Well, you just tell them because obviously your children are going to be okay with the idea that you that you how many men have you spread them pushy lips for is like a million it, they're okay with that um which i felt was a really lackluster answer so i'll just play like one or two minutes of this and then i'll move on to the next thing ron q bacardi says how do you explain that you're a cam whore to your kids um i think people would be surprised at how they do it um i don't know but I would wager that today, once your kids are kind of old enough to understand like what that is, uh, I think a lot of them just say, yeah, uh, this is what mommy started doing and it's why we go to Disney every year. I, I think that's what they do. I think they just tell them. Because they're going to fucking find out. So the question is when they're old enough to know, and you just, and I would assume that their logic would be, you know what? Um, this is a very safe way for mommy to do this. Uh, and, um, and we get, uh, it's, it's how mommy puts food on the table. And so, um, I can do this and work from home and be with you and hang out all day. And we can do fun trips or I can go be a secretary and have people stare at my chest, uh, without paying me. Or whatever. Like, I think they probably these days are pretty straightforward with it. That's, and you know, that's hard. That's such a gross take. That's look, that's now that I really think about that, that's such an insulting take. Any woman who works any position is just a whore. If you're a secretary or an executive assistant and you're just in your woman, you're only there because you're attractive and men stare at your tits. You have no value outside of your attractiveness to your employer. Like that's what he's actually saying. Being an actual literal whore is the exact same thing as doing a real job and having cleavage. Uh, and it's, it's like, what a, what a fucking horrific line of thought. For conservatives to reconcile, because conservatives get stuck in this mindset of, if I were showing my tits to the entire also, world, he I would uses be the words conservative as like a pejorative. Like, you know what those fucking conservatives think? Like, he's excluding himself out of that, that group when he says this. Like, that's, they get, and so therefore, this person must be ashamed of what they're doing. And how could they possibly tell their kids and, and face them on a day to day basis? I think the answer is probably like, they just tell them. Because to them, it's not abnormal. To the kid, it's not abnormal. Definitely to kids these days, the idea of a, a woman being naked on camera is only abnormal if you teach your kids that it's abnormal. Right now, if she's raising them in particular Christian communities or if she says that doing all this is bad and then she has to do it, well, then there's going to be shame and all of that stuff built in, of course. Right. If it's a if it's a contradiction to what they say is good. It's like if if your mom's chain smoking and says, don't smoke or you'll die or uh, they tell you over and over not to do weed and you catch them lighting up a bowl in the bath. But the reason why a parent 
says don't smoke, even when they smoke, is that smoking is bad for you. Objectively, smoking is the worst thing that you can do to your body, like as a habit. It's ter your heart, it, like if you ask any, uh, any doctor, especially like heart doctors, what's the number one thing to do for heart health? They will say, without a doubt, don't smoke because it's terrible for you. So a parent who is addicted to nicotine and has issues kicking the habit is going to tell their kids, I am addicted to cigarettes and it's very bad for my health. I will not live as long a life or a high quality life as I could have if I did not smoke. So therefore you should not smoke. And obviously that's not as good a, um, a role model as simply not smoking, but there's a, a, like a genuine reason why they're doing that. A parent would say, don't be an OnlyFans whore because it's degrading, humiliating, and relies on a lack of self-esteem uh, because they don't want their children to be degraded and humiliated and have no self-esteem and just be a whore. So there, there is an objective reason why you would not want people to smoke in the same way that you would not want them to be a prostitute. And he just doesn't understand that. It's, it's, so, it's so weird how you can just tell that there's actual brain damage happening with Rakeda and he can no longer coherently think and he cannot make lo logical, um, he can't follow logical sequences one after the other. Bathroom. Sure, that's, that's a harder conversation, but this age, like you got, you got 16 year old kids, you think they don't know that there's only fans out there? unless you teach them to care they're not it's normalizing again i'm not saying that's good or bad or any like it just is it's normalizing amongst certainly amongst the next generation but maybe because twitch normalized really quickly maybe you should look at him shake hold on just wait for a second look look at his handshake that's not normal right like that's not just him about his body moving. That's like his hand actually shaking. Am I, am I hallucinating? Whatever, I'll play it with it. Sound. Found out that you were wearing a bikini while bouncing on a ball playing Quake 2 on Twitch. What the fuck are you doing? Go get a job at the grocery store, you whore. Right? Yes. I didn't fight no Vietnam for you. But now, it's like, well... At least I'm not shoving things in my asshole, Grandpa. Like you know, that's a good point. Plus, you got a high uh, KDR on on Quake Two. Good job. Almost as high as my KDR in Nam. Um, and also, let's just be honest. Money cures fucking near all questions about it. Why are you doing this? You notice I just bought a two million dollar house. Cash. I got mm. money left over. Nobody cares. Oh. Nobody cares. The people who are obsessed with money are like the most vapid, retarded people on the fucking planet. Oh, you know, mommy is a is a whore and her nude pictures are out there forever. And students at my school are gonna find it and tease me with it. And when I'm an adult, people are gonna find these pictures and I'm gonna be haunted by them for the rest of my life. Oh, at least I went to Disney World. There's no way that mommy could have gotten a real fucking job in taking people to Disney World. I know I as a child, I, I went to Disney World every fucking year and my mom worked a real job uh, w that required education and everything in order to do it. And uh, strange, she didn't have to be a whore. She raised me by herself. She didn't even date for like 15 years after she had me. And she managed to do, do all that as a, literally as a single mom with a college diploma working a real job. And I still went to Disneyland or Disney World every year um, sometimes twice a year. I, I, it's not like it's it's just bizarre, and it's like that's his entire world. His entire world is that if I the more my my income is my score, and I can objectively take my score as my income and compare myself to other people, and if my score is higher than your score, I'm better. I'm doing better at life. I have more wisdom. And I am objectively more correct than you because my score is higher. And it's like, are you like, it's just like such a pathetic, such a pathetic, utterly pathetic, childish, juvenile perspective to have that you can just whip out your, like, I bought a house. Okay. 
most people have a house. I think even in the U.S., even right now, most people have a house. It's generally con considered a progressive step that people take in their life at some point. Being 40 and buying a house is normal. <laughs> Going to Disney World is normal. You don't have to sell your asshole to do it. I'm I'm so thankful that I don't like that my mom just worked a normal job and wasn't a prostitute. Could you imagine if my mom did like if this was like 20 years in the future and I had a mom that did OnlyFans or something and I tried to get through what I do now with my mom having been an OnlyFans whore. Can you imagine how fucking like demoralizing and degrading that would be? And be like, well, it's your mom, so it doesn't matter. It's like it's what she did to take you to Disney World every year. Like, how the fuck am I going to show my face in public and stream and, and do forum stuff and try to try to be a public figure, you know, doing things for freedom of expression and, and internet health and shit when my mom's nudes are out there? Like, what a fucking, how fucking awful would that be? And I'm not, and I'm not even like in a, a particularly sensitive environment. I'm, I'm like in the, the shithole of the internet, right? Where anything goes. And it's like... Where people where you have people talking about watch jerking off to child porn and that's just like something that you have to deal with that you encounter it would still suck and he's gonna he's gonna try and pretend that it's just like a normal job now he's like well you can say that's it, it'll never be normal it'll never be normal prostitution has been around for thousands of years literally thousands of years and it has never normalized being a prostitute was biblically shameful it was shameful before the area of the new testament it's shameful after the era of the new testament it was shameful all throughout human history and it remains to be shameful today just because it's digital now doesn't somehow excuse it as being not shameful you're still a horror and he does he just doesn't get it it's really sad like I said, I really, I honestly, genuinely, unironically, without any exaggeration, not just trying to be a dickhead, I really feel like he's brain damaged now. And it's too far gone, and he'll never pull up because it's just, he, he doesn't know how to think. Um, he goes on, I, I haven't watched this, so this is a genuine first reaction to this, but I'll play it. Um, he got into an argument about Russell Brand. Now, I don't know the nature of Russell Brand's accusations, but I'm assuming that he sexually harassed somebody, or allegedly sexually harassed somebody who was under the age of 18, probably 16, 17, which is the legal age of consent in the UK. So he gets gets off on a tangent about age of consent. Look, I, I was listening to your show a little bit last night, Nick, and mm -hmm. I can understand where you're coming from because I heard you say that, like, you know, want, like when you hear that this dude was like 31 and he's dating a 16 year old, like that, that can be icky. Like that's, it's kind of gross. I, and I agree with you. Like, I mean, it's, it's weird. Um, I mean, mind you, I met my husband when I was 16 and he was much, much older than me. And we ended up getting married and being together for like 20 years. So I, it's, it's just a weird situation when you're like, it, I like when you're 16, I feel like it, it definitely depends on your mental, like how, like how mature you are. Cause different, different 16 year olds are different from 16 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Like it depends on the child, doesn't it? Oh Some yeah. Sure. Faster. That, Some people don't. That's, the, that's the inherent issue with, uh, with age of consent laws and why they actually vary. Right. Like mm -hmm. that's why they're different state to state country to country. And there's, there are certain points where, most of humanity will agree like this is a little bit much right mm -hmm. like when you get to the the weird like um some like east african countries would have like uh, ages of consent really low like mm -hmm. horrifically low like around six and stuff like that um and then you know you you can also envision a country saying well no we we actually think it should be even higher than 18 it could be 20 or whatever and mm -hmm. uh it's kind of up to societies to to set where they are but people of course individual it's amazing though if if the age of consent is what you personally consider too low you don't have to like dip down into it mm -hmm. right and and you can disapprove of things um for me i i try to avoid like getting overly crazy on anything that is uh that is legal and not outright ridiculous Mm -hmm. I personally think 16 is too young for like for my opinion because I can't talk to anybody under 30 mm -hmm. without wanting to slam my head into a brick wall. Um but that being said, like I can't 
fault someone for doing something that uh, might be questionable for my opinion, but is still like wholly legal. And not why not? That's that, that, that's like definitely like a change in his stance. It used to be um, I, I'm OK. I, I will denounce anything I disagree with, even if it's legal. And now he's like, well, I won't I won't have an adverse thought about things that are, are legal. It's like why? Why are you so afraid of? It's like it's like he's upset, and this is I, I think what Dick did as well. Dick was okay casting judgment on people until he realized that people would also judge him and the things that he does, and he didn't like that. So he just decided, "Fuck it, I have no principles anymore. I am not going to have an opinion on anything. Anything that anyone does, anytime, is perfectly okay with me." Because that way nobody can say I'm being a hypocrite and maybe they'll shut the fuck up eventually. And then Nick at some point got really pissed off with people holding him to any standard. And he said, fuck it. I have no principles anymore. I'm just going to be as debauched as possible. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. I'm not going to judge anyone for anything that they do either. And then maybe people will one day shut the fuck up and my audience will be um, less critical of me and the things that I do. It's not just le like this is the, the thing. It's not just legal, right? It's a society in which it's socially acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, her mom knew she was dating Russell Brand, drove yes. her over to his house. This is not right. like this is some co like a big controversial thing across everything. And that's why it went unmentioned for what, 20 years now or however mm -hmm. long it's been. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, and even know. with the other woman too. like I mean, this is why th th there's so many things getting muddied in this because like one of the like. For me, when someone comes up and they're like, okay, this guy raped me, there has to be, there has to be some very specific things that happen for me to associate the word rape to what happened to, to this person. You know, someone says in chat that he was defending Shadman earlier. If you don't know, Shadman has twice drawn pornography of real children. He drew pornography of um, Keemstar's daughter and he drew pornography of the actress um, uh, Daphne Keene, who was the uh, girl Logan in the um, in the Marvel movie. And in both instances, law enforcement got involved in that because it was considered like a illicit portrayal of a real child. So Shadman has no... And by the way, in, with Daphne Keene, it was just a sexual thing, and he made it explicit that he wanted to fuck Daphne Keene, the child, in his Discord. It wasn't the, the character Logan. It was the actress Daphne Keene, who was, like, 12 when that movie came out. And, um... With... Oh, also, yeah, also, uh, Cor Lieutenant Corbis, he drew pornography of her, and she was, like, 10... Um, and that, w that wasn't ambiguous. That's not a character. That's a real girl. And then he drew pictures of, um, Daniel Keem's daughter or stepdaughter, I think. And that's a real girl. And he drew that as a, um, like as a war, he drew a, a, a not safe for work and then a safe for work picture of his stepdaughter. And the safe for work picture was more obviously meant to be, um, uh, Keemstar's stepdaughter and he sent that directly to him it was like a safe work picture but it was them together and you could tell by the context of that tweet that in the fact that it was Shadman sending it from like his porn account to uh, Keemstar it was like don't fuck with me I'll draw you fucking your stepdaughter if you if you fuck with me if you piss me off so anyone anyone Shadman literally there's not enough bad things that can happen to Shadman uh, he should be properly uh, after due process, hanged by the neck until dead, and not by a guy who's really good at tying ropes, a guy that's really bad at it. Um, and anyone defending Shadman can get fucked, I don't care. Uh, yeah, so fuck him. Yeah, he's just he's just dumb. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, what's his face? Nick has, has just decided that he's just going to be an idiot. Uh, as, for as long as possible, I have no hope for him anymore. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofe. Remember to like and subscribe.